ChatGPT has been dethroned by DeepSeek, as you can see right here in this tweet by Hassan. Inside the US App Store, you can see in the free apps, DeepSeek has overtaken ChatGPT. DeepSeek R1 was only released seven days ago. It's absolutely wild. Now, if you want free access to it, you can get access to chat.deepsea.com. And today we'll be comparing ChatGPT 01 versus DeepSeek R1 to see who wins. Now, if you haven't seen the benchmarks already, we can compare them, but we'll be doing some practical examples today and some real life examples, because you can always take these with a little pinch of salt, because for example, if the benchmarks come out from an AI company, then usually that company might be a little bit biased when they're promoting their own AI. But as you can see right here, DeepSeek R1 is leading the benchmarks versus OpenAI's O1 and OpenAI O1 Mini. Now bear in mind, GPT O1 is paid whereas DeepSeek R1 is completely free to access. And you can see it winning on a lot of benchmarks right here. So let's get straight into it. We're going to have one tab open with DeepSeek R1, and we'll have another tab open with ChatGPT one selected right here. And we're going to compare them side by side. So I've got a bunch of prompts I'm going to test, and we'll see how it goes. So test number one is we're going to take this prompt right here, which I usually use for creating SEO content. I'm going to plug this into O1 and ChatGPT and DeepSeek R1 too as you can see, and we're just going to take a random topic like what is SEO. We'll do exactly the same prompt inside DeepSeek as ChatGPT01, so let's hit enter there, and we'll hit enter inside ChatGPT01. And if we pull them up side by side, so we have ChatGPT01 over here and DeepSeek R1 over here, and we can already see that ChatGPT01 has come back to us with a really quick outline, so it's already producing faster results than DeepSeek R1, but let's see which one creates the best output so far. And we've got quite a lot of prompts to do, so let's see. Bearing in mind that O1 and DeepSeek R1 are not necessarily designed for writing content. They're more like logic models, right? So we're going to test it for writing content first, but bear in mind, it's really good at coding, logic, reasoning, etc. These are its strong points. So let's compare what the content's like. So for example, ChatGPT, it says, why should you care about SEO? Let's face it, you can have the best product in the world, but if no one finds your site, your product might as well not exist. Not bad at all. Let's have a look at the next one. So on DeepSeek R1, the title is The Basics. SEO explained like you're my mate. Feels a little bit weird straight off the bat, not gonna lie to you. And then it says, SEO, search engine optimization, it's tuning your website so Google loves it. Think of it like a dating app, Google swipes right if your content answers questions, better than competitors. Get it right and you show up higher in search results, free traffic for years, right? I would actually say the content itself, the written content is better than the content inside ChatGPT, honestly. And also here's the thing, you can see it's actually referenced inside the content, a link to a study. Now, if we click on that link, right, it doesn't work. This page does not exist. So if I had to compare them, I'm going to say the actual content itself is better on DeepSeek R1 versus ChatGPT O1. However, the titles are better inside O1 and it doesn't hallucinate random links to random pages that don't even exist, right? So for that reason, I would say ChatGPT O1 is winning in Prom 1. Let's keep going now. So what we're going to do here is we're going to ask both to create a Space Invaders game. Now, also the thing that we noted before is a uh, DeepSeek R1 is actually slower when it's responding versus ChatGPT O1. However, when we're using a prompt like this, we're really going to get a feel for which one is better because this is the strengths, right? Logic, reasoning, coding, etc. This is what these models are designed for. So we've got the index HTML and ChatGPT actually have a new feature. If we go to edit here, then we're going to go on preview. We can preview the code if we click allow and you can see that is working perfectly, my friend, right? We've just created Space Invaders in one single click, one single prompt, and we can preview and test it directly inside ChatGPT. So honestly, ChatGPT01 is still winning so far, but let's see what we got back from DeepSeek. We haven't tested out the HTML yet. It did actually come back to us with Python code, so it didn't come back to us with HTML, but if we want to preview it, we have to go in HTML. So I'm going to say, okay, create this in HTML. And now, of course, you're going to have to wait a few more minutes for this to generate because it didn't generate the HTML first time around and because it has to do a lot of reasoning in between. So in terms of speed and in terms of setup, you know, ChatGPT01 is working pretty well. However, what I would say from both models is like, DeepSeek R1 is free, right? And even the API, it costs basically nothing. So in terms of comparing them side by side, you know, DeepSeek R1 is winning on price. So let's see what it comes back with is creating the HTML code here. What I do like inside DeepSeek R1 is it actually has a button to click the run HTML option, right? So you can literally just preview HTML in one single click 
and then you're good to go. So we've got the code back. That did take a couple of minutes. We'll hit run HTML and see what we get now. And that is working perfectly already as well. So if you actually compare them side by side, I would say the UI is probably nicer inside DeepSeek versus the Space Invaders game. Just because it's like more zoomed in, you can preview it more, etc. And it goes full screen when it's doing a HTML preview. Next up, we're going to say create a beautiful SEO cost calculator website. Add emojis plus plenty of detail about the tool, how it works, and brand colors right here. So we're going to copy that prompt inside ChatGPT. We'll create a new chat for both. So let's plug that in. We'll give DeepSeek R1 the head start because it seems to be a bit slower. And if you do want to see the reasoning, you can just click on this and you'll see the reasoning between it. But look how fast that is straight off to the races, whereas DeepSeek R1 is still having a cheeky think about it. So in terms of speed, honestly, so far, ChatGPT01 is one on speed every single time. So we're going to run this now. We'll allow that. One of the things I would say is it's created the CSS separately. So I'm just going to say, right, put the CSS inside the HTML. Otherwise, what's going to happen is it won't be very nicely designed at all. DeepSeek R1 is going to work, coding like a maniac. Honestly, it seems to be like almost stuck inside ChatGPT01. So that might be a fail from O1s from what I can see so far. Let's see how it's doing. DeepSeek R1 is still coming back to us with the details, but look at that, still stuck on editing after I said put the CSS inside the HTML. Not so good. Let's click off that. Yeah, it's just stuck there, isn't it? Might be stuck all day there. That is a bit of a fail. Let's run HTML on DeepSeek R1, and we've got everything that we wanted. So you can see here, nicely designed website, all the emojis, nicely used the brand colors as well. The cost calculator is working perfectly. We're good to go on that. Additionally, it's included extra information on the page that we asked it for, including FAQs. So that passed with flying colors. ChatGPT is finally getting his act together and it looks like it's doing something interesting now. So let's see what we get here. It does seem to be creating a lot more FAQs here. Look at this. We're getting a lot more detail on the page from ChatGPT. It seems to be really going in depth. It's going to town, mate. It's going to absolute town on that bad boy. All right, let's run the preview on this, see what we get. Here we go. To be fair, I would say ChatGPT is winning. Like it's just got much better outputs on the page, much more in depth. We've got more detail. The tool seems a lot more thought out as well. So you can see how many different layers there are inside that versus this. So there's much more complexity inside the tool itself. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah, it works perfectly. And then it's added more FAQs than DeepSeek R1. So honestly, in that situation, I'm going for ChatGPT01 again. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to generate some really fluffy content using ChatGPT40, and we'll say generate some AI detectable fluff. Then we're going to take that content. We're going to go to a free AI detector tool like Zero GPT. That content is coming out at 73 points detectable, right? So it's very obviously AI generated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to ChatGPT, make sure we have 01 selected again, and we're going to take this prompt and say, humanize this so it bypasses AI detectors 100% of the time. It must be 100% non-AI detectable. So we're going to run that through ChatGPT01. Also start a new chat inside DeepSeek and do the same method. So we've got exactly the same prompt on both. And we'll see which one is better for actually bypassing AI detectors. Because so far we've tested it for building tools, for building websites, for creating little apps, for writing content. Let's see how good it is at actually bypassing AI detectors and seeing what we get back. So we've got the response back from chat one now. We're just gonna grab that content and we'll plug it into zero GPT. Bear in mind, this was previously 73.45% AI detectable. Let's detect it now, see how it comes out. One, look at that, percent AI detectable. Pretty amazing actually, to be fair, how well that worked. Now. Let's get the output back from DeepSeek. We'll grab the content like so. It does seem to have written a bit more content. We'll make sure we don't select the notes. So we'll grab that. We'll plug that into zero GPT as well. See what it comes back at. And they both passed with flying colors. Look at that. So they're both pretty good at bypassing AI detectors, making content non-detectable. Fair play to them both. Done a great job there. Now, so, I mean, overall, I'd say ChatGPT is actually winning on outputs. It's also winning on speed. But if you want something completely free, then DeepSeek R1 is the best. Now, the final thing I would say about all of this, right, is that you cannot run ChatGPT locally, but you can with DeepSeek, right? So you can see here, even ChatGPT says you cannot download and run the official ChatGPT model on your own hardware, right? These are basically proprietary models exclusively for OpenAI's cloud infrastructure, but you can run DeepSeek R1 locally. Let me show you how to do that. And not only that, you can run DeepSeek R1 
locally for free, right? So if you just go to Alama, you're going to make sure you've downloaded Alama. Then once you've downloaded and installed it, you just want to open that up, make sure it's running. You'll see the icon for that there. And then after this, you're going to go to DeepSeek R1. And, you know, let's say we want to run a distilled model, which is going to be smaller and faster on a local computer if you don't have anything too powerful. Then we can run into terminal. We can literally just pop in that prompt. That's going to open up DeepSeek R1. And if we go inside here now, we say, what model are you? And you can see that we have DeepSeek R1 ready to go in one single click. And so that's a massive, massive win. So if you want free or you want local, DeepSeek R1. If you want the best outputs and you want faster outputs, then go with ChatGPT. It depends. Do you want speed or do you want it free? So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get free access to my AI SEO community with 3,600 AI SEOs just like you that you can ask inside the community, feel free to join that. It's completely free. Link in the comments description. And if you want to get free access to my AI SEO course, including how to build websites, apps, tools, how to use DeepSeek R1, how to even, for example, build your own AI and agents that can actually control your browser using DeepSeek R1, feel free to get that. Additionally, you'll get 50 free ASEO tools and 200 free chat GPT prompts. Link in the comments. And if you want to get a free one-to-one SEO -one strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book them on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building or answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. And normally you pay like SEO experts thousands of dollars per hour to get your questions answered. Now you can get them for free directly. Link in the comments description. Additionally, you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly get ranking competitors to link building and how to 10x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.